Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make an FPS counter in Roblox Studio. First, go into Starter GUI and add in a Screen GUI, and we can just call this FPS Counter. Then inside here, we're going to add a text label. And then inside the text label, we're going to add in a local script. Then this text label, we can just move over here and we're just going to change some properties real quick. We're going to make sure that text scaled is on. We're going to change the color to white. We can go up here, make the border size pixel to zero and background transparency to one. You can change the font if you want. I'm going to change mine to that. I don't know how to say that. Uh, you can make it bigger, smaller however you like then we're gonna go into our local script and inside this local script we're going to do local t text label that's going to equal script dot parent then we're gonna do local run service is equal to game colon get service run service and then we can do local good fps is going to equal 30 and local okay fps is equal to 15 then we can do run service that render stepped colon connect and a function and in here we can do local current fps is equal to workspace colon get real physics fps then we can do text label dot text equals math dot four current fps then we can go outside and we can do dot dot quotation marks fps then we can do if current fps is less than or equal to good fps then we're going to do text label dot text color three equals color three dot new we're going to do 0 comma 1 comma 0 that's going to change it to like green which stands for good and then we can go down and we can do else if current fps is less than or equal to okay fps then text label dot text color 3 equals color th 3 dot new and we're going to change this to like orange then we'll just do an else text label dot text color three equals color three dot new one comma zero comma comma zero that should finish it up so now we can go ahead and test it out all right and then we as you can see we load into the game and the fps goes up to 60 and and since this file doesn't have a lot going on it's not going to affect the fps that much and if it doesn't work for you just let me know in the comments down below and that is how you make a fps counter in roblox studio if this video did help you please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time